Libra, Libra love tarot reading for today. How are you doing, Libra? So I haven't done you a reading for quite a while. Hopefully things are going to change. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or a life path four for a lot of you. I've got it in your chart and you're looking for some sort of change. Some of you, there might be shrapnel or something to do with around um, money being exchanged. I'm hearing the exchange market or I'm exchanging money all day long. Something that you might be working where you work, you exchange money or you're looking to part exchange something, meaning like I've got a car and I'm going to part exchange my car. Could be dealing with a Cancerian or a Life Path 7. But whatever it is, I've, I keep picking up this message that I'm going to drive into somewhere, part exchange what I've got for something else. Some of you, it might be a person that you're doing that with, part exchanging. I'm going to take me husband in and part exchange him for something else. <laughs> but that's what I keep hearing, part exchange, okay? So let's see, Libra, any messages for Libra? So we're going to do my cards, Libra, and then we're going to look at the Rider Waite and see how they relate to my cards, okay? So stay tuned till the end. So your energy is so strong. Possible energy of uh, Libra, Leo, Aquarius, Life Path 7, Cancerian maybe, but your energy is so strong, someone that is connected to you, uh, someone that could be divorcing and married already, Okay, and lazy work colleague. So that I did pick up like this exchanging money, but it might be someone at work where your boss or you are the boss. And it looks like that what you're looking for is delegation or Dan, but like somebody that is delegating, I'm also hearing the name Della or Dan or Danny or Danielle or Daniel. Okay, but like I'm looking for another person to exchange the person that isn't pulling their weight because it feels like that someone at work is lazy and they're not doing anything and they're see aquarius had this so not picking on all aquarians but i'm saying that in um aquarius reading which is an eight as well as leo is they had this energy of something about work and not pulling their weight so this one you've got lazy work colleague um, four, five, six, seven could be Cancerian life path seven energy, maybe Scorpio or Pisces, but either way, it looks like that what's being exchanged is maybe looking for someone to fill someone else's place at work. Um, let's see. Um, what's her in Lucy, which is a Capricorn energy, um, Libra, any messages for Libra? So I've got seeing you with him hurts me. So this might be the divorcing energy. Now, if these don't relate to you at all, Libra, stay tuned till we do those. Um, but seeing you with him hurts me. So it feels like that there's a female here that's watching another male being with another female. And I mean, what is it that you're watching? Hopefully not tarot, because that's not really showing you the fact that someone's with someone else. But that would be things like social media. And that would be real life stuff where... Somebody interacts with someone on a casual basis, but realizes that they're also into someone else. Okay, and knowing that you're with this person hurts me. Um, let's see, Libra. So past life connection, save your money just in case. So there is this energy here of where, I don't know, man, I'm kind of picking up where some of you might be a life path to or Libra might be considering like changing your job or you don't like your job and it doesn't like it's not fulfilling you anymore and it's making you become like oh I just cannot be asked like I can't be bothered blah 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 I hate this job I don't want to be here and blah blah and all that sort of stuff and if that is you then what it's doing is is telling you to, in order to save your money because some of you might be I don't know, you could get a sack um, or like really considering like, I really don't care if I get let go of, I'm just going to find something else because I really don't like the job that I'm in anyway. I was hearing the name Rob or Robertson or Robin. Um, anybody's got R in their name, past, present or future. Um, but it is asking you to save your money. Now you've got four here and four here. That does represent possible Scorpio, Aries, or Life Path 4. Lazy work, colleague, save your money. 4, 5, 6, 7, that represents the Seven of Swords, is leaving and coming back. There's some sort of 
traveling, this might be like Uber, um, or it could be Uber Eats or something to do with around traveling and working, because that would represent the chariot. Okay. So it's asking you to save your money just in case, because there are people that may be considering exchanging people for other people, right? Going over who works for who. So let's see. Some of you have just got like a twat flame type sort of past life connection. Um, let's see. Um, let's bring these into the shot a little bit more. I'm also hearing shop. Bring these into the shop a little bit more. Something about like overspending and shopping or like shopping for something. Like I'm uh, keeping up like a building. Like we're shopping for a building or, or something like that. Um, shopping, shocking. Um, so you got a seven, five, six, seven, divorcing. So that might be someone that is saying that they're going to get divorced, but they don't, and they keep like you know not letting you into their life fully, and all this sort of stuff. Or the name Lee, or Laura. Um, your energy is so strong, but I don't really give a shit because you're divorcing and you're with someone but we're connected, but I'm not letting you in. Some of you might have gone through this for a long time, and this male energy is absolutely pissed off to the nines about all this twat flame talk. <laughs> like, we're soulmates, we're meant to be together, blah, 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 so on and so forth. I don't really give a shit, okay? I've had enough of it, right? Sorry, you know me, I'm the truth. I'd say what I see. Um, I don't care if my energy is strong. <laughs> Let's see. Um, because that's normally an awakening. It's karmic energy. You don't have a, a nice awakening. You have a spiritual awakening, which is a karmic awakening. It's a, a very bad karmic situation of cheating, lying, manipulating husbands and wives and third parties that wake you up, right? You're not going to have something good that makes you wake up and smell the roses, is it? Something that bad happens that makes you use your intuition to wake up, right? So that's why after these people get into third party situations. Let's see, um, Libra. Oh, Libra, Libra. So you got your own card here, number two. So this could represent, like, I don't know. I mean, if you know the person's married already, then there is no secret about that. This is like not talking, not speaking, true or false. Is the person with another person, or are you just speculating? Speculation is what tarot can cause. <clears throat> I've seen it happen a thousand times that a lot of people have actually ruined their relationship by watching a tarot reading and then confronting a person that actually is telling the truth. <laughs> right. And it ruins their relationship because the person looks at you as if to say, oh, uh, what the fuck is going on with you, Dave? Like, I've got no idea what you're talking about. I really don't. Where did you get this info from? Tarot reading. Okay. You just carry on doing all of that. <laughs> right. So be careful when it comes to what you know and what you don't know. But there is an energy here of possibly keeping the secret. But I've always said for a long time, if a person lies, if they lie, they obviously don't tell the truth. Capricorn, possible Gemini, very toxic situation. Uh, it's also all to, all to do with money. I'm also hearing auto. Auto moon, moona, luna. A auto a moon, um, a moon, a moon, <laughs> um, sea moon, sea moon, semen, something to do with like children or like I don't know, someone sleeping with the enemy or another person. But what I was going to say is, if a person lies, they obviously don't tell the truth, right? So they're not going to tell you the truth if they, if you ask them, they're not going to tell you the truth because they lie. <laughs> so you have to catch them. In order to know, you have to catch. Right? Some of you, this is like catch, the name catch or kitch or kitchen, in, in some sort of like kitchen where people cook or something like that. It might be around the lazy work colleague, around where people are cooking and stuff like that in a kitchen. Could be a restaurant or something. Um, but then I'm also hearing catching something like avoiding something because I don't want to catch an STD 
or a cold or something like that. I don't want to catch anything. Lazy itis. <laughs> Let's see. Cystitis, itis, Icarus. Let's see. Um, Libra. Attention seeker. What the hell does that mean? Helga? The name Helga. Um. <laughs> Libra. Five of Jesus Christ. So this is someone's mind. It isn't making any sense whatsoever. Or Trevor. But that is what I say about Libra. You know me for a while. I always say Libra, the sense that makes none. You could be watching that twat flame person and you've got you've lost your mind completely because you've watched too much twat flame stuff here. And you've believed it and you've gone through it and you're like, this is my forever person. <coughs> this is what it does to you, folks. Yay. Anyway, you got your own mind. Somebody here has lost their mind. Um because this is attention seeking. This is moving on and attention-seeking, but not getting the attention. This is kind of like, I'm sorry, Libra, because I've got a feeling, man, this is where Steve just gets the majority of the brunt of messages that he's picking up. But, like, somebody that keeps trying to seek attention from people, but people are, don't Good really give a fuck. Stephen, hey, the official Alexa, of the I don't care. Shut up. Um, th This is like... Pretty much like that, really. I don't care. Shut up. I, I'm, I really don't care what you've got to say. I don't care if you're trying to seek my attention or not. You're not going to get it that way. Not. It might be a Pisces or a Life Path 3. But, like, attention-seeking. Or Seekins, Vincent. Uh, <laughs> so you've got five here that does represent an a two. Libra represents marriage and commitment, breakups and exes, because it's justice. There is justice, two, and a five. So there it is. There's the two, and there's the five. This is why I made this deck if you're new. I will be selling it at some point. I have copyrighted it. But divorcing, two and five. Two, Libra, five. Represents Taurus, traditional beliefs of marriage and commitments. This could be happening to a couple that are married, or I'm blocking out my ex-husband or wife or some kind of, I don't know, arguing with an ex-husband or arguing with the person that I'm with because we're still married, but I don't want to be, but I'm trying to leave. This is like, I want to leave, but I can't. I can't afford it. I've been trying to get divorced for ages, but I haven't got enough money and assets in order to get divorced. And it does nothing but keep causing conflict and arguments, having to live with the person. So we spend majority of our time not even talking, not even speaking, cutting each other out, living on separate, you know, you stay this side, I stay that side, you sleep in this room, I sleep in that room. For a lot of you here, there's the divorced energy. So you shouldn't really be, you shouldn't really be arguing with an ex-husband if you're not married anymore, or even if you're married and you don't live with them, you shouldn't really be arguing <laughs> right you just don't have anything to do with them you just get social services involved and don't see the person it's quite simple um what's the seven of wands yeah two of cups in reverse you're coming up with your own cards two two and two this is separating divorcing old soulmate i don't give a shit whether your energy is strong or not you know i'm just had enough fed up pissed off it's a twat flame it's not a real one um, separating, avoiding the connection, avoiding the person. What's the high priestess for? Third party situation, heartache, break ache, break ache, break ache. <laughs> vacate, vacate, vacate. <laughs> Lampoon's vacation. Um, oh, shit. I see that one. I had to take it. Narcissism, gaslighting, ghosting, manipulating. <laughs> Sorry, Libra. No wonder people have been begging me for a Libra reading. What's the t devil here for? You've got all the worst cards. Single. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. There is 
an attention seeker up in here, like real bad. Sorry, but they really are like those cards there. That's like, I have everything I want. I'm lovely. I'm gorgeous. I have got so much good looks and who gives a fuck? Five of, um, someone's arguing with someone over being single, but toxic. This doesn't make any sense. Uh, well, narcissism, gaslighting doesn't, I can't figure it out. Um, six of wands. Oh my God. What is going on, Libra? You give me an headache, Dave. You give an aspirin an headache. Um, avoiding, not speaking, not talking. Man, you. Oh, I really hope that you're not with, like you're not together. I'm not picking on you or the other person. I do not like hatred, right? I don't. I just avoid negative talk and negative people all day long. I get a little bit negative when I'm reading these readings, but I don't give a shit about people, right? I just do my job. But please tell me that you're not with each other here, like you're actually not with each other, you're avoiding each other, right? And you're actually trying to separate because that's what you should be doing here. Because this is a shit show, it's... Five of Pentacles. But in they come. <laughs> Charming their way back in. Or trying to get back in. As I'm trying to get out. Some of you might be looking for a car. In order to transport things to move. This is like a, mo a removal company. That I need to come to my house and pick up all my shit. And, and take it away. Or you're not taking my children away or something like that here. Um, I told you this is like part exchanging a car. Like I said right at the beginning, Jimmy or John, but part exchanging. What is justice energy here for? In they come and it makes someone happy. <laughs> They come in for a brief moment to talk about something. This could be a new client, a new person, a new car, something new, but word of mouth. But then you get someone that opens their mouth, which is the five of wands. Five of wands. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces or Aries. Ten of Pentacles, money, working on it. The tower and an ending. It's like a beginning and an ending. Because they're good cards, them, there. But then that represents an ending. So, I don't know. It's like talking to someone. Is this going on at work? Like, there's a very stable energy at work, but there's also a very unstable energy at work. There's a stable one and an unstable one. One and a one makes a two. A one and a one makes a two. What to make a pizza? <laughs> Is it somewhere like a pizza hut or something? Because this is like stable energy, working, money, finances, everything's going well. But somebody is not pleased with someone at work that, that's going on at work. Like it's this money or this exchanging money or this, like, I don't know, it could be a boss, but someone that is lazy work colleague of, of a seven energy is to do with around driving or a company or something to do with around that lazy work colleague because then you get this this is like work as well fives are like working and this is a good energy but then this is like causing dynamics and like stopping things from happening Four. I don't know. I think people need to speak up. This is why I need to talk to you about something here. And then it causes some sort of dynamic. So there you go, guys. Thanks very much. Really do appreciate it. If you want to support old Stevie, like, share, and comment, and subscribe. Really would appreciate it. If you want to help me out further and you want to join the join button below, feel free. It's very cheap. And there's loads of teaching and videos and old readings and new readings over there all the time. So thanks very much. Really do appreciate it. And I'll see you soon.